This episode of Strange Love brought to you by Treasure Licious. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. <laughs> Welcome to Strange Love After Hours. I'm Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. And our guest this evening is Disa Boy. Booyah. And we have a <laughs> Thank lovely, you, Jim Kramer. <laughs> lovely live studio audience cons- consisting of Media Chick, Aaron Hockley, and Betsy Wim. Where's the applause? Especially after last week. Sorry, Verso isn't here, and she's really the loud, loud, rah, well, rah. She wasn't there last week either after the... Verso is asleep. Yeah, Verso right now... She's last week she was in already. Disneyland, and right now she's recovering from being she's in Disneyland asleep. still. But, I mean, we she had... She should be asleep. She's already said I know she, she was. Bed. She wasn't feeling well. The pandemonium of um, a she live had, audience last week. Yes, last week was really... Do, it know, was just a week ago. It seems so long ago. Hundreds and thousands and millions of people. Yeah. I don't know. Show. How many people were there? Do you know? A lot. There were a lot, yeah. There were, there were a lot loud. of people. Hello, people. And a live band downstairs yeah. under your feet. There was a live band right beneath us. Yes. And I didn't have a martini last week. And we should actually... Very I, I got I to gotta say, the reason everything's so hectic here is we did the live thing last week at Vidu. Mm-hmm. And Plus. it's a good thing we went... To yes. Vidoop, we would to not do have been able to do the show in our basement earlier last week. in the week. We flooded the Strange Love Live basement. Yes, oh. because the water heater crapped out. Yes, uh, actually, only yeah. only yeah. the half of it behind the studio audience. So not only was our recovering of getting the equipment back in here and setting up, it was like the everything that was ripped up here in the lovely, lovely million dollar studio. <laughs> million dollars studio. Yeah, those live at seven people live. think they got something on us. Ha, <laughs> wow, let me tell you. Wizard Boots, who uh, just left, has turned our basement into the boot cave the with boot a cave. full... Wait, wait, the booty cave? The boot cave. Oh, I'm sorry. And <laughs> with a full studio of four, with a four-track recorder and everything. And he's recorded oh. a few different people. And, uh, you know, and, I mean, he knows what he's doing. And the stuff that he's recording is amazing. So, yeah, now, what is so this? What are you, <coughs> podcasts or? No, he's no, a musician. No, musician. Oh, he's a music, music, musician. yes. Yeah, he'd music. like to speak and, uh, with you later about your uh, Well, the thing is, is playing. this was my music studio, actually. Yeah. And mm-hmm. That's how it. I can tell. I don't know. Became a podcast studio, too. Yeah. It's mine now. It's like, oh, I have my. microphones. I have recorders. We could make a podcast, too. Jose. Yeah. Jose. <laughs> well, you keep saying that. <laughs> It's okay. So um, does I did anybody get the Twitter memo on this. Does anybody watch Sarah Silverman show? Sometimes it's the when the funniest, can. crassest show out there. And mm-hmm. she was trying to think of a new word um, because you know the 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 guy who invented booya had come to the coffee shop, and she was mm-hmm. so enamored by him. So uh. she created Oze, O Z A Y, and then her friend created Dot Nose, and he got his word into the uh, english uh, uh oxford english dictionary so it was a funny episode never mind no no i get it she's very funny she's i like adorable. her i liked her political videos so i think we need some more beer yes we need to drink some more beer it's beer time so um i i, I brew beer but i also grow hops so we uh, bought a hop plant um i don't know five years ago planted it have no idea what kind of hops they are there are um, 112 different kinds of hops varieties so you really need to know what kind of hops you have, or or it'll mess up your beer. So is this your own hops? These are our own hops, but we don't know what they are. You, you have no idea what they are. No mystery um, beer. But 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 uh, so what I did is I I made a basic beer, a basic mm-hmm. ale, and then threw the hops in, and uh, so to see what kind of because the way you work with hops is you put hops in the boil uh-huh. for 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 bittering. Right, and then you throw in hops at the end for flavor. Okay, and then you throw hops in the secondary fermentation for um, aroma and for like that ester. You know, when you smell what you smell. Okay, so it's not just the bitter. No, it's not just for not bittering. just bitter because I know that hops are are bitter and yes. you add the bitter. Yes. So what does the malt do? Malt is um, malt is the sugars. Okay. 
That's and where you get that's the sugars. What the, that's what the. You're making um, me want a chocolate malt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what the yeast eats. Okay. I mean, beer is beer, beer is simple. Beer mm-hmm. is um, grains, which turns into malt, right? And cr- is the sugars, water, uh-huh. majority of water, yeast, yeast, and hops. Mm-hmm. And you don't even need hops. You can do. You can make beer out of the first three. What is a beer without hops? What is that called? Do you um, know? Almost every beer has hops. Okay, that's but what I was going to say. M- almost every beer has hops because um, yeast also needs some uh, some features of hops. But if you look at uh, a lager or certain kinds of pilsners, uh-huh. they have like so little hops that you won't even be able to smell it, taste oh, it, or whatever. Okay. But there's enough in there. Um, oh, I like I like really pilsners really and, really light. Yes, light yeah, beers. Light beers. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if this goes pop. Woo! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. We've but now it poked didn't a break. hole in the stream of lives. <laughs> no, it's it's it's, it's a little. Time. I know. <laughs> oh, and I would like to point out that I am reusing the bottles from the beer judging class. So excellent, nice. Um, and I'm, I always pour myself the first and one. Did 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 you mention where are you taking this uh, beer judging class? Oh, that's the best part. Okay. So um, can you tell you us, keep or is it a secret? Oh yeah, no. So the beer judging class is uh, offered through. Um, the um, Oregon Brew Crew. Thank you. Um, which is a local organization. Just a I'm a here. horrible assistant here. Um, I'll just take some. Okay. I'll pass them around. Have we mentioned it's the holidays, folks? And uh, ooh, so ooh. the yeah. the class is um, offered at. Uh, we started off at uh, Roots, but their facility wouldn't uh, facil- wouldn't facilitate for us. So we have it in the brewery at, at uh, Hopworks Urban Brewing. And that, you know what? That is brilliant. Because we sit in the brewery and we drink beer. And uh, every so often, Christian Ettinger of Hopworks Brewing walks down and chats with us about beer. And, uh, um, you know, that's awesome to sit there with. Is that it? I think so. Okay. I think we're good. We were ha- we're having a little bit of a, a malfunction this evening. I'm sorry that I was snapping loudly and rudely at Dr. Normal. It's okay. You'll have to forgive me, studio so. audience. Apparently, there's some commentary on it. The comment in the, the chat was, wow, dumb girl. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if I can't get my man to do what I want him to do, when I want him to do it, how am I supposed to take over the world? Yeah, so this is going to have a sweeter aroma. Oh. Hmm. And not probably not as bitter. Oh, I like this a lot more. I like the way the other one smelled. I really like the aroma of the one we tasted yeah. on the tech episode, but this is much more um, to my taste lot lighter. liking. Yeah, and like I said, it's a basic it's beer. It's a much basic less ale. bitter. And uh, so, but now the best part of this um, brewing class that I just love is is a um, we get to taste beers every night, every mm-hmm. night. So. Is you it know, like I a weekly paid, thing? or It's a weekly thing, yeah. yeah. And we taste between three to five beers. Um, on Wednesday night, we tasted nine. Wow. It's nine porters and stouts. And um, that was a fun night. Um, I went and had uh, some frites afterwards because uh, that was the only way I could get home. No. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, the best part of it is there's a, there's a portion of the class that actually talks about um, the science of beer. So we've had a class about yeast. Mm-hmm. And... I learned everything I ever didn't want to know about yeast. Mm-hmm. Um, we've had a talk, discussion about malt. How's malt made? And that got into like the chemistry of sugars. Um, this last one was all about process and um, history. Uh, and what's great is it's being taught by um, Vasily. I don't know Vasily's last name, but he's the, um, I think he's the master brewer at um, Rock Bottom. Mm-hmm. And he's been, a, I think, he has a resume. He has a pretty, very good resume. Um, and I learned that there's so much I don't know about beer. Because these guys are talking about water chemistry. They're talking about different, te- how it, how one degree of temperature can adjust the sugars and how the yeast would would eat the sugars when you're when you're mashing the um, the grains and doing all that stuff. It's, it's crazy. And then when you get two brewers chatting together, Mm-hmm. It's it's like two scientists chatting together, and you realize that, yeah, being a brewer at a brewery is not they're not home brewers, and uh, I think there's a there's somewhat of a misconception out there that the guys behind the glass at your local microbrewery are uh, are just elevated home brewers, and no, 
they're so they're so they have so much more knowledge about about the product that I, so, I don't have. So. so it really is a case of the more you learn, the more you realize you have no idea. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, this was done in my kitchen, so I mean, obviously, I know what I'm doing to some extent. Yeah. No. I, ho I hope. Yes. 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 So this is nice. We'll go on and move to the next one. Just oh, in, just, moving just along. Because you want to, I mean, it's another yeah. stack of cups, and I'll pass some more on. La 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 la. Getting some more beer. So, this is um, the Wizard Boots beer. Yeah. <laughs> the, the chat room so, wanted to know what was in the bag. Oh, because it's a holiday episode, I'm going to have a uh, Diesel Boy here help me decorate the Strange Love Live tree. Oh. <laughs> I was preparing. That's. Funny. And then we're gonna sing some carols. Yeah, we'll sing Woo! carols. Just for you guys. <clears throat> So um, my uh, um, my uh, friend Wizard Boots, uh, we he he in, really enjoys the Beck's Dark Ale, and when we went to um, old New Old Lompoc, he had their LSD, which is Long Strong Draft, and it's a traditional strong ale, and he's like, oh man, this is so awesome, and I say that in that language because we we had had a few of them, and uh, so he said, can you make this? I'm like, I'll try. So I made the Wizard Boots Mayhem, and it's a traditional American strong ale brewed with Centennial Cascade and Ch Chinook hops. And uh, it it's defined more by a lot of sugars and a lot of yeast. Mm -hmm. And so I essentially took yeast and grew it before giving it to the to the to the malts. And what that ha what what that creates is a lot more alcohol yeah but it'll be a malty beer because it has a lot of a lot of malt so let's see if this one has some sound ready one two three go not it as had scary. some but this will also be darker okay why don't you uh pour dr normal there a glass uh, you know I nice need to, glass uh, He's, I, I would stepped Here. away momentarily. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I gotta have this. You finished it. Isn't this this? Did you not get to have the last one? Is that the mm -mm. last one? It was um, coitus in a beer uptus. Here, take this. We have some more. Is that correct? I'm switching to another glass. Here. You, you guys are looking at me. Come on, you guys are authors. I can make up words, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 You want to pass on? What would, what would you call oh. it? It was perfect. And the reason I'm uh, uh, pouring these is for tasting. This is how we do our tasting at the class. It's just in smaller glasses, so you can try try the different flavors. Make this and next one very tiny. Little tiny. There you go. That's plenty. This and last, the, the, one, the, the one you just poured previously is really nice. Um, this would have been nice. on my kilt. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Is it water This water would have been a nice resistant? starter before the hoppier one. So now... Um, Brett, while we're while we're tasting the beer and stuff, I've given you some little bulbs there, and just you know, kind of get them. But they don't have anything. I know you just gotta force it. Oh. And here's drink. Just gotta man and... it on. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. Uh, decorating music. Yeah. So this I didn't gift. pull up any Christmas music. Oh, Did speaking you? of Christmas music. You guys are freaking bastards. That's you have one more week to write the lyrics. You have we're one gonna, more week? You're we're extending gonna, it? We are going to push this hard. These little we are pushing this hard. We're going to do an all-out effort. They don't deserve a holiday song contest. <laughs> I can't believe she just called people you know, peckers um, on the podcast. You know, Wizard <laughs> that Boots. There's a word I haven't heard. Wizard Boots I, wanted to submit his Christmas junior song. Junior high? But right, I'll, I'll let him have an extra word. Peckers is the new douchebag. <laughs> um, Look, I'm going to call people peckers because I enjoy that word. <laughs> Freaking um, Anyway, this is what happens when I don't so have a martini. So we're going to do like weeks. a full-on assault. We, we, you know, I can't. There may even be up. a special RPDX post just oh, well, to this, get people to write defective. the lyrics and participate this, this in a one. holiday song contest. Yeah. I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, but no, you know, Chris has a uh, Wizard Boots has a great song, a uh, great uh, Christmas song. But this is where you actually get a yeah, melody. The music is written. The you music melody, is ready. You write your lyrics, and if it's selected, we actually record that your lyrics to that original song and you become the lyricist of that original song correct wow that's a good beer all right oh. i haven't tasted this one yet hold on oh so th this is um so what's interesting you talked about wine earlier and uh 
I had never known this, but if you're doing a true beer tasting, you taste it similar to the way you taste wine. With the sipping um, and the swishing with the s- and the spitting? No, I mean, you can spit it out. A lot of the, you know, the people, who, when you're going to a beer judging competition, uh-huh. you don't drink it all. Yeah. Because well, some no. of it's bad and you, you have to spit it out or you'll get drunk. But the couple of things that I've seen is the idea of moving it around to aerate it mm-hmm. and open up flavors. I saw a guy doing this in order to get aroma and to keep oh, the aroma so in. He'd move it around, it, swish and then because it, it would concentrate yeah. the aroma. Yeah. And then that makes uh, sense. also sucking air across your tongue after you've taken a taste in order to open it up. And you know, I've done that in my tasting, and it has it has changed what I flavor, what I taste. And I think it's kind of kind of cool because I knew all that for wine. I didn't know that all that for uh, beer. So, what's the studio audience opinion of the Wizard Boots Mayhem? I like it. Good. I think the studio audience they like all the alcohol that we give them. <laughs> yeah, they're all nodding. Yeah, we do. Yeah. So all this right. one, when we tasted it um, before we bottled it, we could actually there there's um. There are certain style of beers where it's actually okay. You can taste alcohol because it's such such strong beer. We could actually taste the alcohol in this. It's mellowed a lot since um, we bottled it, and it's actually gotten bitterer again. Um, again, I wonder if I'm letting them sit in the bottles too long, but um, you know, it's, it's acquired taste. Now, for a little beer intermission, I'm going to have one of Brett's nuts. Ah, uh, yeah. No one's around to laugh. I mean, we've been making this joke all evening. I know. I Can know. you please tell us about these nuts, Brett? Yeah. So, um, I, oh uh, I am a big fan of um, of creating things. I I like I uh, I I don't like I I, I like to dabble. Mm-hmm. And so one year I, <laughs> and actually, you know what? I have to thank Allison Hallett from the Mercury because, mm-hmm. well, I actually I don't know if she put the put the recipe on the mercury page but her name is is on the newspaper page that i still use Mm -hmm. for my rosemary salted nuts could you just you know scan it and send it to me um no No. i can't i can't you'll have to call the mercury up and find an original copy no i'll I'll pass it on yeah it's fine um it's just it's pretty straightforward it's uh, oregon hazelnuts from philomath this year i got them from freddie guys at the farmer's market and um, then it's brown sugar and and uh, rosemary from the backyard, um, fresh. And uh, I throw in some uh, some salt and um, a little bit of cumin. I, f- I notice that a cumin adds a little bit of flavor. Then there's um, I some some of the batches I throw in a bit of ground pepper, but then it's hot sauce. Mm. I just sit there with Valentines or whatever's in the fridge and mix it all together, and then you bake it, and it caramelizes around the nuts and everything it's freaking delicious yes i know uh, don't you wish you had smell a vision or uh, taste of vision vision although yeah. i mean i tried to run away with them when you first brought them into the yeah, house I and i opened them so it was um, difficult for me to even share audience, in the first place more mayhem or would you like to taste the third bear Probably move they would like so to move along okay so will yeah. i mean these beers will be here for the rest of the night I, I'll have to finish them eventually. So we've tasted all three of my beers. We have one at each of everything else. So if anybody wants to try something. And, but now we'd like to, I'd like to expand our minds. <laughs> don't look at my, don't look at my kilt. <laughs> so got to get more kids. So I have a friend. What? I have a friend who is do? truly a brewer. He so I told you about there are two different kinds of making beer. Yes. Um, I, I, there are a million kinds ways to make beer, but there are two different styles for home brewing. Two different methods for home brewing. One is you go to Steinbart's with a bucket and you have them fill it with malt, and it's a syrupy malt that somebody has made and you buy it. The other way is to go to Steinbart's and buy a bag of grain solid grain and then you go through this whole process and it's 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 arduous where you grind the grain you break it up you then put it in water at a certain temperature usually around 150 degrees you have to keep it at that temperature and that extracts all the sugars and all the 
enzymes and all that stuff from the actual grain. And that makes the malt that I buy in a bucket. Mm-hmm. That The bucket, driving to Steinbart's and buying the bucket takes about 30 minutes. Yeah. Taking grain and all that stuff takes about four hours and a lot more equipment. So he does that process. And it's, and, and it's great because it creates a much more robust beer. And, it, and it's, it's that much more hands-on and that much more like creating it from scratch. Mm-hmm. And you have a lot more uh, um, leniency in creating different styles of beers. So this is his beer. This is a um, farmhouse ale. It's Belgian. And where'd the bottle opener go? I don't know. Oh, we have a crisis, people. Are you sitting on it? All right, I'm going to go get another one. I might be sitting on it. No. I don't know. Oh, it's here. Oh, you got it? Found it. it. And uh, so a farmhouse ale, a Belgian farmhouse ale, it's lighter. Actually, you you can look. I don't know if the audience can look. It's harder because of the the Um, colored bottle, I think. But uh, I'm going to try not to break the bottle. Everybody cross your fingers. We have an intact bottle this time. You know, it's actually a bottle opener. Wait, let me go get a different one then. Please, because I'm concerned. And uh, so a farmhouse ale is a traditional Belgian-style ale, and so it'll be it'll be sweeter. Um, it'll be... Uh, um, I don't know. We have know. a question from the chat room, if you want to take a question. Oh, I'll take a question. So the is the style to match... Your socks to the kilt or to the shoes? Oh, the style was to match the socks to the shoes. Okay. And it was because I didn't want to change socks because it was cold in my bedroom. Okay. But uh, good question. Who asked the question? Um, Abraham Hyatt. Oh, okay. Hi, Abraham. We don't open a lot of bottles. That's sad. (laughs) Do we seriously not open a lot of bottles? No, it's like... No, I'm actually. No, that's cons- a can opener. I'm actually concerned that when I use that other bottle, that's what broke the. Thing. It could be. Yeah, it looked really fancy from where you were sitting. It's just a can opener. Any other questions from the audience? No, but we have agreement that Gunfighter also matches his socks to his shoes when. When he wears his kilt, kilt. he nice. wears utility kilts as well. Yeah. Is he from Portland? No. Mm-mm. DC. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> this no, no. This was not a bad ooh. This was a. It's got like a caramel note. On yeah, it's gonna be yeah. different. It's very golden. So it's gonna be very different. Yeah, this is really. So I'd like to thank uh, Rural Street Brewing for donating the bottle. Mm. Like hmm. It? Somebody likes this. Maybe so Maybe this beer, what's what's interesting about this beer, and what this is another thing I learned in the beer class, is that this beer, I believe, um, required specific fermentation temperatures. So it, most ales, if you think of an ale as a, 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 a type of, a, a category of beer, and you think of stouts and porters as another category of beer, and you think of lagers and pilsners is a different category of beer. Every, there's 87 categories of beers. Um, or 43. I, I don't remember. But <laughs> There's a lot of them. Um, what I learned is that like pilsners and lagers, they f- need lower temperatures. 50 degrees, 60 degrees, for the yeast to actually activate. And that's fascinating to me. I didn't know that. Well, certain Belgian beers, they need 78 degrees, 77 degrees. So you don't just put so it you in your... you have to keep them warm. You have to keep them warm. And so my uh, friend actually built a hot box that has a light bulb in it, and it's insulated. And the idea that once the temperature gets... Certain, the light bulb goes on, and the light bulb's enough ambient heat to keep the temperature up. Like a terrarium for yeah. beer. Yeah, terrarium for beer. They do that for bread, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty fascinating. I, I didn't know that. And, then, you know, again, he's, a, he's a, an amazing woodworker, so it's an amazing, beautiful hot box. I'm going to try the beer. Nice. Oh, wait, I haven't even tried this. Would Dr. Normal like to try some? I'm sure Dr. Normal would like to try some. I would love to try some. It's been a long evening for Dr. Normal. Okay, so. Diesel Boy did not make this particular beer. I did not make this one. I'm behind in beers. But that's a good thing tonight. Mm -hmm. But you will get some of the others because we have plenty in the box. Oh, right. Let me queue up some. 
So, one other thing I'd like to point out. Oh, my goodness. Cue up a little music. We should have had this on before Wizard Boots left. That's right. So, um, I'm trying a Belgian beer from... It's a farmhouse ale. Mm. It's from my uh, friend's uh, brewery, uh, Rural Street. Um, mm. He's a home brewer, not a commercial brewer. So, mm-hmm. But it's much different than the other beers you've tasted tonight. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Do you, do you taste the sweetness to it? Mm-hmm. I yeah. do. Sweetness is a very no. common mm. feature of um, Belgian style beers. Did Dr. Normal get to taste Even this? Even the one? dark beers. I don't think Dr. Normal tasted yeah. this uh, one. I've, I've yeah. got, yeah, I've got them back here, so. No, no, I don't think you have this one. Okay. I, I think I've got lots of beers. Like I said, I'm. Well, you can use that beer, dear. You need to catch up. Yeah, I've got a problem, but it's not a bad problem to have. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> catch up on the beers. So, I'm out of beer. So what? No, we have all kinds of more beers. We have like uh, an extra bottle of each. So if anybody would like to, a much larger glass so you can enjoy some more beer, um, holler. Um, I'd like to offer up beer to the studio audience, but I mean the audience audience. But That's um, right. But the audience Oh, you mean the chat room. Any. The chat room. I can't pour it down. Yeah. I think so. No, all the no wonderful people you. in the chat room tonight who are all, yeah. uh, hopefully they're opening their own Beer, beer of choice yeah. tonight. Yeah. So while uh, while you were That's preoccupied, nice, Doctor Normal, uh, Brett and I decorated the tree some more. Mm-hmm. Is it, is, should I cue the Doctor Who music um, no, for the okay. uh, tree topper? It's okay. <clears throat> Actually, the tree is in David Tennant's ass at this point. I think that um. Just I had to. Is that Doctor Who? Shove yeah, that's it Doctor down Who. There. The the currently going out Doctor Who. He's leaving. He's only got a few episodes Who left. will be the next Doctor Who? Oh, God. Why am I talking about Doctor Who? Why are you doing Who? this, Doctor Normal? Why did you bring up Doctor Who? Because I'm drinking beer, and I've been otherwise preoccupied. So one thing, if anybody ever offers you a um, homebrew um, to take home, give it to you bottle. Don't mm, ever empty nice. the bottle into your glass. Um, only empty it to the last oh, little bit. Oh, because of the, the, the yeast, yeah, yeast, yeast in the bottom. The bottom. It's the same thing with wine, if you get yeah. a, a homemade yeah. wine. And or an unfiltered wine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they make unfiltered wine. Yeah. yeah. And the reason you want you don't want that yeast is because it, it gives you the worst gas. Oh, yeah, yeah that's no good. Yeah. Mm. That is good to know. I'm just, just something I learned. That is good to know. No, that's know. really good to know. So now let's talk about some things going on in Portland right now. I normally wear very, very sexy happy high heels on the show uh, if any of you can notice tonight i normally I'm, wear pants i'm wearing snow boots <laughs> snow boots actually that's not true you don't you don't know i, I the see pie you, off, kilt this, so you often. wore you wore the kilt at the pie off is this yes. the same kilt or a different kilt no it's the only kilt okay do you know yeah. how much these are they're expensive, they're expensive. yes they're yeah. very expensive. i can only afford one so yeah i almost bought the leather one my wife wanted me to wear buy the leather one but mm-hmm. um yeah this is more practical it is. You can watch it. I have it. worn it doing uh, worn it while I've been doing home improvement, but um, I haven't tried to carry a, a, a tool belt with it. So. Well, you should try putting things in the pockets. Um, I have my wallet in the pocket, and I've yeah, that's about it. Okay, well that's fair. Do you put your iPhone in the pocket? Um, I didn't have my iPhone the last time I wore it, but um, um, yes, it was in the oh, pocket. Oh, so the earlier. iPhone is new. Well, since the three G you came out, so. I don't think I'd like wearing a kilt. Why do you wear a kilt? Um, no, Dr. Normal, you would not like wearing a kilt. I mean, just, I, I'm just curious. I mean, I'm not, you know, I, I just, I've never worn a <laughs> I kilt. I just pause and he starts getting all defensive. <laughs> I know, exactly. Oh, my God, no. What, what is this? It, <laughs> well, actually, no, in my um, kilt, I have a long blade and I'm about to kill you with it. <laughs> you, know? you know, I don't know. Um, I saw him, you know, I went to the Oregon Country yeah. Fair one year and I saw people wearing them and I, I saw them. Well, it's got to be comfortable, right? And, and they are comfortable. Okay. They're very comfortable. And they're just, you know, it's, it's you know, it's, it's kind of fun. You know, people look at you. People stare at you. Um, they want to flip it up. Your your coworkers go. Your coworkers look at you funny the next day. Your, oh, that, that picture's been posted. So. Oh, okay. I was gonna say you yeah. wear it to work. Um, okay, so I, there was once you um, wore it to work. No. <laughs> so when I was walking home every day, um, mm-hmm. and this was shortly after I bought the kilt, I uh, went down and change. I, I would change. I would yeah. change into walking clothes. Essentially, you know, uh, you know. Um, well, walking clothes. So, yeah. you know, I wouldn't sweat in my work clothes. I used to, one, when I when I rode the bus to work, I would take off my shoes and yeah. put on sneakers. Yeah. yeah. So one day I went downstairs to the um, to the workout room and I put on the kilt. Walked upstairs and ran into a coworker. And pretty much the coworker went, oh, 
hello. I'm like, hi, have a good night. And and, <laughs> and they just were stunned. And yeah. But, um, you know, most of the people I work with who are, who I'm closer to and, in, in, you know, in that work relationship. You're friendly with. In the friendly with. I, they, they know about my blogs. They know about um, my adventures in, um, in bed jumping and uh, following bands across America and things like that. So it's it's not a secret that so I So that that leads to a good question. How do you mesh your internet life with your real life? Well, um, my internet life and my real life uh, are are very meshed. I, I I segregate out the work life. Yeah, I was just mm-hmm. going to say the work life. Yeah, that's the real uh, question. That's, that, the, well, that's the yeah. See, thing. I think that I haven't had a job since I had our daughter. So yeah. so to me, yeah. it's all. So if no, anyone no. wants to hire Cam and Chaos O for voiceovers or anything huh. hosting podcasts, uh, I think Doctor Norman would Cam like to get and a Twitter. job. Modeling. <laughs> Modeling. Um, <laughs> I can hold things up in front of myself. Yeah, no, I mean they're just they're just things you there are just boundaries that you create, you know. I'm sorry. I don't walk around giving was, people my business card. I apologize. I said something that. that was really funny to three people in the room. It was not funny to anybody else. I'm sorry. I was gonna say Hockley came in here earlier and said that the pictures didn't turn out, so you might have to do some posing again tonight. That's what he said. I don't know. Okay, I'm out of the loop. Is it a compact flash failure or something? I don't know. There is Camera a failure. there is a um, a implied nudity geek calendar that will be coming out. Nice. And Aaron, I wasn't <laughs> yeah, invited. My nudity was not implied. <laughs> <laughs> my nudity was not implied at all. Um, and 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 Aaron Hockley has shot some of the, shot some of the some of the months. Okay. On Wednesday, he shot one of the months in our basement. So yeah. Hey, it's for charity. It's, it's for, for charity. Good cause. Good. Yeah. So there you go. Actually, Doug Coleman's in in the chat room, so he could. Hi, Doug. Probably chat his, the actual his title wife. of the project. Yeah, you could tell everybody what the actual project is. His wife Robin and uh, Wonder Wendy mm-hmm. are working on it. And Brett's now just or, pointing with. His oh, no, fingers. I'm just asking if anybody wants any more beer. Mm. Oh yes. Please. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Um, which one? Yeah. I have some homegrown. Um, I have the IPA. Homegrown. The oh, no, that one's almost empty. Okay. The the first one. This one? Yes. That one. I like. Okay. It. I'm I'm. Oh, there it is. Um. Have do s- do something for a cause. Dot com. Yeah, that's it. Oh, Coleman girls. Get naked for a cause. Get naked for a cause. Yeah. And it's yeah. literally do something for a cause. Dot so, com. So so Robin and Wendy, um, we finally shot that. <laughs> Sorry, oh yes, it took we did. So long. I I hope it. I'm went just well. wondering which which picture oh, it, will be I used. I just got thumbs up from the photographer. So. Yeah, I'd like to see those pictures. Yeah. Do you want Sunday. Huh? <laughs> if I wait to edit them till Sunday, or if it's actually late. Yeah. Sunday, I can choose between editing those or the church event I'm shooting. Yeah, tomorrow. yeah, you know what? <laughs> I don't care about you editing the RPDX uh, net uh, tweet up. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, let's see those pictures you shot the other day. No, he night. said it'll be between us and the church event. Oh, great. It'll be tough deciding. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Uh, hey, I was looking at your photographer site yeah. the other day, Aaron, and I noticed that that picture that you took of my martini is up on your site. I was so proud. I made a martini, and it was so beautiful that Aaron took a beautiful, beautiful picture of it. And now it's up on his beautiful, beautiful site. I'm very proud of martinis. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> okay, so I make martinis in, in in buckets, you know, in the. You make vats of martinis. No, no. What what a glass? You know, a highball glass called a bucket. Uh, oh, a bucket. Okay, yes. Yeah. I think that's how my grandmother drinks her martinis. Yeah. Is in a bucket. Yeah. Yeah. And my I, dad too. Just, you know, we were out one I night, and like my buddy glasses. was like, "You know, can I get a martini, but in a bucket?" And I'm like, "What do you mean a bucket?" And he's like, "A highball glass." I'm like, "Oh, that's weird. Yeah. You're weird." And uh, and yeah, I don't see him anymore. Now, do you do you drink them um, up or on the rocks when they're in the bucket? Well, when they're in the bucket, they're in, it's well. A rock. It depends on if I'm at home or not. Yeah. Like you literally know, a bucket. No, it's, it's a, a highball high glass. glass, but it's called a bucket. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, no. I was thinking like Green Acres or something. Yeah. No, <laughs> Martini. If I, no, if I go out, no, I, I'll I'll go all out. And I'll yeah. get the, I was I, I just like you know, 
Honey, I so have the bottle. But eating. do you drink it up or on the rocks? Yeah, uh, like a milk. Okay. Uh, you know, the but milk, if I'm at cow home, milking no, no, buckets, you know, with ice, yeah. ice you and gin and yeah. Renew. Yeah. Because I don't have any martini mm. glasses. Oh, do you know where I got my martini glasses? Ikea. Yeah, with the yeah. meatballs. Nice. They're really, they're, you know what, they're not that, we used to have these really big fancy martini glasses and they always got broken. Yeah. We've never broken one of the little cheap Ikea yeah. glasses. Uh, no, of course not. Because, you know, <laughs> why would we? Because never buy Riedel. Because the moment you buy Riedel it is breaks. the moment you will be breaking glasses. And you'll have a, a really exactly. good or your clumsy friend, friend. Or your friends will be breaking them. Your <laughs> friends will get drunk and <laughs> Actually, you know the smash best, them. the best place to buy Riedel? Where? Trader Tuesday, Joe's. Tuesday morning. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. love we, to get stuff we would get. Yeah. We, we picked up um, a pairs of Riedel glasses for six bucks. That's awesome. And uh, of different styles, mostly without the stemmed. The stemmed, unstemmed. Oh, glasses. the unstemmed. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I can't I, get down with those. I cannot get down with Dr. those. Doctor Normal yet. poses good. the hand it's, warming of the wine. It's, it's like it's like meat without potatoes to me. Yeah, I mean it's um, just drink, I don't know. I mean it's like you know what I mean. If it's you drink like, the, if you drink the wine fast enough, it won't warm up. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, I understand your point, and I do have like one, you stick some brandy or some cognac in there or something. Yeah, I do have like, one glass that is on a stem. It's a big bowl, a big yeah. wide glass. So that's what I put the. If I'm gonna drink a really good bottle of wine, like uh, a favorite of ours, uh, Chenin or uh, Owen Rowe or mm-hmm. you know Simpson mm-hmm. Hand. I put it in that glass. Mm-hmm. But if I'm drinking um, <laughs> Wizard Boots' favorite wine from uh, from the grocery outlet, Trader Joe's, grocery outlet. Oh, um, not the two buck Chuck. Not the two buck Chuck. The one buck whatever. Fred. <laughs> no, it's it's three three fifty nine. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's in the other glasses. But we have broken all of our nice glasses. That's why we only buy. We buy them from Trader Joe's or from, not Trader Joe's, I mean, sorry, Target or yeah. whatever. So. You yeah. know what, though? Every once in a while during the holidays, Trader Joe's will have like a four pack of Riddell champagne glasses. Yeah. For a really good price. We need to stop by Trader Joe's and see if that's the case. Yeah, maybe. I haven't seen it in a while. Actually, and they have the knockoffs, you know? They always have the mm-hmm. cost plus and all the, yeah. uh, you know, it's like, I don't know. But I don't know where I'm going with that. I don't know. I'm, okay. I'm behind in beer, is what I'm. What do you need? Well, no, no, no. I'm still tasting here. He still here. has beer so over I there. Had the, I had the, I had the, the beer. What did you call the beer that, uh, done with your hops? That oh, you was grew? the homegrown. Ale. The homegrown. Now hops are a weed. They they regenerate, right? So you just yeah, plant they're them. They're a tuber. And... Oh, okay. They're a tuber. So um, if you ever, if you ever like, like pot. No. I don't know, do actually. Isn't that like a no, hemp it's or something? A, I th- actually think the the um, uh, it's a similar family because it has a similar f- smell and flavor, but yeah. I don't think it's in the same, uh huh. You know, genus or whatever they call. Well, it. no, no, no. I'm just saying a tuber. I, I thought that's but like yeah. Um, when I say tuber, hemp? I mean um, that the uh, like if you think of a dahlia. Yeah. There's a tuber there. There's a there's a there's a root ball or whatever. Okay. That you can cut in half and grow two. Or like um like a bamboo. Oh you can, okay. You can dig I up a bamboo, bamboo, cut it in half, and you have two. Do you know a lot about plants? No, I actually neither don't. do I. We're I know, both in a conversation um, <laughs> that we're just like we're, we're <laughs> I I know a lot about bamboo. I, I know a lot about. I've learned a lot about hops. Just we have in a the tiki bar. It's made of bamboo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I, uh, I have I've no s- green thumb at all. <laughs> I'm just like, dude. I'm, I'm like, if I plant a tree, it's a it's a Doug fir. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you just put it in the ground and it just lives. But you know, it's Doug fir. It's not a spruce. Well, that's a, just because that's what they plant. Or a silver spruce, or a, yeah, or a cedar, know. or a aspen, or a something <laughs> like that. I don't know. See, I learned all that in Boy Scouts. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like. So you were an Eagle Scout, right? Yeah, Eagle Scout, Aaron. Wow. Media check. Were you an Eagle Scout? <laughs> Got a chuckle out of that. Be- before the change. Because Eagle Scout. <laughs> a brownie. A brownie, yes. Yeah, because I was an Eagle Scout. Really? Yeah. Three Eagle Scouts, huh? In the same room, yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Did you submit your name for the Eagle Scout registry? No. Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> they hounded me. I, one of the coolest things, though, is uh, I saw Spirit Lake Camp before it was oh, not man. Spirit Lake Camp anymore. Yeah. Actually, the last summer... Because, you know, you know, Boy Scouts go on the yeah. summer camp, right? The, yeah. the week-long summer camp. Um, and, and the one thing about scouting in this area is, boy, if you can't find a great 
place to do a yeah. summer camp you're you're not looking right yeah. you know i mean it's like we we had some of the best in oregon washington some of the best property some of the best places to go you are know? we having the eagle scout yes. discussion and so uh yeah because we <laughs> I were was wondering how long that was gonna take draws because someone just left um anyway um so uh went to spirit lake i think the last year that it was open for summer camp and then the next year uh the earthquakes were happening and they decided not to have summer or camp after that opening. so <sighs> yeah you know so I, does uh, that does that mean you grew up around portland i yeah, I was born, yeah he's a, I, I, i've been in portland for 38 oh, okay interesting yeah 38 years a, a native yeah yeah we've had grew that discussion in, grew up in southeast portland yeah went to centennial high school i'm an eagle there you go. Uh, I went eagle to Lin- and, and an a, eagle and an eagle. Yeah, scout. went to Linfield College and uh, and then moved to Northwest Portland when it was still cheap, affordable. When I first moved to Portland, it was my where my first apartment apartment was. Yeah. What? Where at? No. Uh, on the corner of Northwest. Were you an eagle Flanders. scout, Cammy? No, but I, I'm okay. not going to say I was. <laughs> I'm not going to say what I was going to say. So there's more IPA if anybody wants some IPA. I'm just going to um, keep opening beer because. Please do. Yes, just open Would beer. Would you like some IPA, sir? Uh, in, in just a second after uh, I finish okay. what else I He's trying to finish missed. the beer he already has. Um, so, yeah, do you know where Bostas is? Yes. You know the 1970s looking like, apartment building? Looks yeah, like an old yeah. 70s motel. Yeah. I lived on the top floor on the corner of that yeah. apartment. And, well, and do you know Chris O'Rourke? I know who Chris O'Rourke is. He yeah. used oh, to work at the Quick Stop next to the Cinema 21 nice. and sold me cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my wife and I went on our first date at Boston. Oh, it's a good place to go. Yes, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool place. Yeah. yeah. And so it's a. Uh, it used to be what? Uh, oh, it used to be an Arctic cute. Circle. I don't know. Is that it's that it a frame thing? Something. Yeah. yeah. It used to maybe a yeah exactly pancake house or an Arctic mm-hmm. Circle or something. But okay. So the, raise your hand if you know where Rocky Butte is. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's good. Still over there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we know. Because those so, are the th- we talked about blogging. Mm-hmm. That's the kind of stuff I love to write about. Yeah. The stuff that no, the that newcomers to Portland don't know. Yeah. So, sorry, bad segue. Uh, Rocky no, that's okay. okay. But I took Wizard Boots up to Rocky Boot when he came to Portland. Mm-hmm. The first time he's ever in Portland, he was like, "Oh my God, this is amazing!" And uh, so now, have I you decided to move here? So you, ta- I mean, we keep talking about Wizard Boots, who's a writer on RPDX. Yes. Yes. And he's your roommate. <laughs> he's my roommate. Yeah. He lives in a room in my house. Yes. Right. And, and okay. we're not lovers. No, I, I'm not <laughs> insinuating that at all. You're a happily married man. <laughs> yes. To a woman. I mean, <laughs> yes. not that <laughs> there's right. anything wrong with that, right? <laughs> it's okay <laughs> that you're married to a woman, right? <laughs> <laughs> we accept you. But, um, Wait a minute, what? <laughs> but I mean, you guys hang and do the roommate kind of thing. And, yeah, yeah. And he works at a porn shop. He does. And he writes about this on RPDX yes, yes. as well. The porn and, uh, and I was kind of hoping he'd bring some... Some you know, porn. some tastings along with him. Well, as well you know, we you could know. always go there. He's there now. We could go there afterwards for oh, I, I, our I, own I, private booth. If yeah, that would be Mr. awesome, Doctor Normal. I'm sure that would work out with the current situation that we have <laughs> the, tonight. Trying to do a show with the the other drama. family <laughs> issues <laughs> going on. Yeah, no, Chris. Chris is the great guy. He's a he's a great um, uh, Mr. Wizard Boots. His name is Chris. Um, Hello, Mr. Wizard Boots. Um, he's a great musician, great guy um, from Texas and uh, Arkansas. Um, ah, moved Texas. to Portland uh, to help us out and uh, take help take care of our dogs and be my roommate, and has just turned out to be like the, the you know the best roommate ever. So that's awesome. Now, like I, haven't, I haven't had a roommate in eleven years except for my wife. So it was kind of and so your wife's on the other coast. Going yes. to school. Yes, right? going to school. Yes. Wow. That's mm, that's a pouty faces. That's got to be tough, man. Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, and uh, she's coming home Tuesday, so I'm excited. <gasps> Yay! For the holidays. Yes. Yes. She's coming home back. on the stormy day, isn't it? Um, oh, Sunday that's right. and Monday yeah, and yeah, probably yeah. still Tuesday. So I know Thinking we're all good. hoping for snow, but let it all melt on let's, Tuesday afternoon. Let's just <laughs> hope for really, really safe <laughs> airport runways and now, do you, um, happy landings. Do you talk about what what she's out there studying and what she's doing, or um, she's going to school for nursing? Nursing, wow. Yes, but it's all the way out there yeah. <laughs> instead of here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, bummer, man. So how's the beer? The beer is great. The beer is wonderful. Good, good. And yeah, I have loving this, uh, the beer. This other Mo- Montana Street IPA open. If anybody would like mm. to try it, that's the hoppy one, right? 
It's a very hoppy one. I yes. like that. And that's a good, again, that's a really good winter yeah. beer. It's kind yeah. of warm. I uh, actually opened the fridge up um, to grab um, some of the hops that I have in the fridge because I wanted to yeah, be able to smell hops. Because mm-hmm. um, if you've ever had a big giant container full of bud, you'd um, you'd smell almost the same. Yeah. It's, a, it's a very pungent. Uh, let's define that. A big container full of bud. Is that a big container full of Budweiser? Hops. No. No, or- sorry. <laughs> <laughs> full of Mary Jane, full of uh, whatever. Okay. Um, yeah. Literally, you know, like a quart. It's okay. Container. Just not in smile, sweet pea. And. Uh, yeah, a good boy. Uh, Eagle Scout. <laughs> right and, Eagle Scout uh, right there. Yeah. I'll, I'll and over here, too. Not so. that I've had Eagle a. Eagle Scout? Yes. Brownie. <laughs> oh my god, every man in this room is an Eagle Scout. You know, not that I've had a big that, giant how often thing does that of bud. Happen? I can tell you something, the sex is gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um not uh, It uh, is after hours, guys. <laughs> I need an Eagle Scout, damn it. Yes, you do. Trust me. We're prepared. <laughs> I brought the okay, ten so, essentials. Sorry, I, so, uh, <laughs> never, never, never had sex with an Eagle Scout that didn't finish the job. What? Yeah. yeah. What? I said I've never had sex oh. with an Eagle Scout oh, that oh, didn't oh. finish oh, the job. Oh, I thought job. you said never have. I thought you were. Uh, never no, no, no. That. that was a compliment. I was saying that <laughs> the Eagle idea. Scouts that I've been sexually active with have <laughs> done a good job. A On tonight's episode job. of Strange Love Live, Kemi Chaos life. reveals how many Eagle Scouts she's been sexually active with in I- her life. You know, you know what? That should have been on the that should have been on the list of things that I needed to know. You'll need two hands to count. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I just don't think it's true. I think you should cue the beauty music. I, would I think have you should to. make that statement how many Eagle Scouts as adults. Uh, you know what? I've never slept with anyone under the age of 18. Good. Okay. I'm just saying. Even when I was under the age of 18. <laughs> Basically. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Where's the rim? I gotta get the rim shot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And on to the next what we learn here. In okay, so let me life. clarify something I was saying. You know, this is um, how after hours rolls. No, by the way, then it just like let me just clarify something for the studio audience. When I said if you have a big giant bowl of, <laughs> of, of bud, a big giant bowl of Eagle Scouts of bud um, versus a big giant bowl of hops, they smell the same. They're very pungent. It's not that I've had a big giant bowl of bud. It just I've been to those parties and I smell the smell. So you know, I'm just saying. I know there are people online that are listening to this. I have a question. So when I was a kid, and I'm not making this shit up. When I was a kid, I remember being in an assembly at my school, and there were officers there, and they were doing drug safety. And they wanted us to smell what burning marijuana would smell like. (laughs) Because they wanted us to be able to identify it and tell someone. That's just wrong. In California. <laughs> wow, that's 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 weird. I can't remember which school it was that I went to a lot. I moved around a lot as a kid, so I couldn't. Is there drama? No, we're good. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. So what's going on in the chat room? <laughs> uh, what's, yeah, yeah. what's going on in the chat room is Doctor Normal has to figure out how to delegate a chat person. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, we exactly. need to delegate authority. But as Dr. Normal runs around trying to make this show happen at the very last minute, mm-hmm. as but hey, we've got beer now. This is really it's good. It's all that matters. we got a lot so of what beer. Are, so what do we got? I've yeah. got the... Did you say the, it's automatic? Met, yeah. The original, the first one we yeah. tried. Yeah. It was very good. Okay, very I nice. want to have a brief 2.7 discussion now. Oh, did we not talk about No, we haven't talked about 2.7. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Cammie's like mashing it up tonight. Is there a That's studio, is let's there a talk studio about, audience Let's microphone? talk about... 2.7. Yes. There needs to Why be. Why don't you talk about 2.7 and we'll have a studio audience microphone in Very one shortly. Minute. Okay. So, I uh, have you done any upgrading to 2.7? No, because I don't have a... Well, I have a WordPress press blog, but I'm not necessarily working on it right now. Okay. So, I, I was waiting anxiously because at the WordCamp, I saw the, the demo where you could batch edit tags. Not tags. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Categories. Categories, thank Mm you. I started blogging on Blogger where you you just had tags. You didn't have Mm -hmm. the two different things. And so when I transferred all of my posts over, it was just a huge mess. 
it went well, but there's like, you know, hundreds of categories for everything that I ever had a tag for. So I've been waiting and waiting patiently for 2.7 so that I could just batch edit it all into like four main categories. Mm -hmm. I still haven't gotten to do that, but I, I, up, I upgraded, I updated. Is it upgrade or update? Rick. Yeah. Rick. My, uh, my understanding when you're going just from um, a dot, up, yeah, that's an up, Update. No, up, that would be an upgrade. Yeah. 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 Updates okay. like a service pack. It's a minor release. Okay, so I, yeah. I upgraded to 2.7 today, and I was terrified. Anytime I have to do something with my blog, I get terrified that something horrible is going to happen. Even though I did all the backups that I was supposed to do, couldn't figure out how to do one of them, I had to, you know, direct message Verso. I'm sorry, will you please help me do this? Okay, thank you, Kelly. <laughs> So I know that Betsy has So done you wanted some. to ask the studio audience? Yeah, I wanted to ask the studio audience, has anyone else done the upgrade? I've... Is it on? Mm -hmm. I've on. upgraded two blogs. I have not upgraded our PDX. I know, because I've logged into it. That's going to wait until the end of this year, because mm -hmm. we're also talking about doing some server migration issues uh -huh. and some other stuff, and I just want to get that done first and then do 2.7. But I did an upgrade yesterday on a baby blog I have and then I did another one in five minutes today for my 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 main personal blog no problems at all um yeah I'm thinking it'll be I haven't done it for strange love live yet I'm thinking it'll be a lot easier because I've already done it and I don't have that whole am I deleting the wrong file yeah. oh my god I'm deleting the wrong file did I delete the wrong file yeah yeah I didn't well, plus delete the, the other thing file. is when you're doing a um a group blog like RPDX, you don't want to just run in there and upgrade, upgrade, and then no. see what happens. I mean, and screw up how many authors? I am doing <laughs> um, database backups mailed to me every other day. I've got backup systems that I'm running here, there, and everywhere. I'm really trying to make sure that since it's people are coming to it and liking it, mm -hmm. that we keep it up and reliable. Mm -hmm. And there's some issues that we're working on. We hope to have them resolved by the end of the year. It involves laying out a little bit more money. That's all. So if anyone wants to sponsor RPDX, <laughs> oh, I think or a strange Love live. <laughs> yeah, that, no, I think that we're we're not yet at the point where we're looking for um, yeah. sponsorships. I'm happy to be a speak cash for flow yourself, Betsy. Okay. Um. So, but eventually, maybe these lights strange and Love microphones live is don't not pay happy. for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yes, feel free. If if anybody's out there with sponsorship money, send it to Strange Love Live. Thank hey, you. Hey, 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 Aaron. How you doing? So the, the, the big thing is there's a big beer and blog and yeah, WordPress party tonight. Know. And um, I was stuck in traffic, so yeah, we you, didn't go. Laurel had that same issue. Apparently, it took her about two and a half hours to get from mm -hmm. her house on the west side of Portland mm -hmm. to yeah. our event this evening. Yeah. But yeah. she made it. But what time did she make it? Uh, seven yeah. and something. Yep. Yeah. It was fairly late. Yep. Yeah. So it was a drag. But, but it was fun. By the time we, we got there, we would have had to turn around, come back here, and start setting yep. up the show. Yeah, so, it, it was fun. We had a good-sized crowd. Um, there were people upgrading their blogs there. There were people just chatting about WordPress things in general. About so, how many folks were out there? People came and went, I would guess, probably 50 to 60 nice. total. So Nice. Well, you had a lot of people at WordCamp. So, so there were people actually upgrading. A lot upgrading. of momentum. Yeah, it was kind of interesting. There were a lot of people... Um, who had already upgraded, and we were kind of joking that the upgrade was so easy that people really didn't need help with it, which was that something we'd kind of planned on doing. Mm -hmm. But was Beyonce there singing "Upgrade, Upgrade"? <laughs> she wasn't. We didn't have any live band. It was. Oh. We did have rock band. Mm. If you like so. it, then you got to put a ring on it. Beyonce, yeah, it. he does. Yeah. It's you like interesting. It, then you should have put a ring on it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It goes very well with the nose. Oh, is this the part where we uh, sing the Christmas carols? What, oh, what Christmas uh. song? Are we done with 2.7? Is it Christmas song time? No, what else do oh, we need? Okay. To, I mean, it, it, so my take, la, 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 and, and again, la, la, la. I don't uh, do WordPress because I don't have keys to the kingdom, but, you know, we'll talk about that later. Um, but it, it, what I... I'm trying to get you like my a, take you know, a mini key. on WordPress is that it's just... It's just slick, and people are upgrading and not having a whole lot of issues, and I'm much everyone's loving it. The one comment that I just saw from the chat room that I would echo is that it's a bit of a disconnect because the, the top menu system 
because Nalbu moved over to the left hand nav bar, mm. and it takes a while to get used to for some. Really, it UI um, I looked it's at it. I was all of a sudden I was like, oh, this is the way it should look. The cami's did. I was you so it. excited. Yeah. And I think I'm going to like it, too. It's just I upgraded my site, and then I spent no time looking at it at all. And so I think there's just a little bit mm. of need to get comfortable with it. it. It depends probably how long you've been using the older version of WordPress. That's true. How I'm long much you newer used to WordPress. To click, click, click in your no, sleep. No, there was a significant you know? UI change at 2.5 with WordPress. And so... And everyone hated it. And so this was an attempt with 2.7 to undo what many felt was like this overly complex overly layered navigation structure. And so they made, they actually brought in a UI designer who spent a lot of time surveying the community, and they undid a lot of the stuff that they had added on to 2.5. I'm drinking beer, so I call that overly German. Yeah, okay. The overly German <laughs> interface. German interface. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it just popped in my head, right? You know? Okay. We call that the German phase. Okay. okay. I don't know. Does that work? Up. I think we're going to You're German. On. You've sure. got some German in. See, Eagle Scout German. It's all good. Yeah. I'm going to stop making comments. Okay. <laughs> I could say something about German men, too. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, let's not. No, let's not. Let's sing <laughs> Christmas carols instead. Really? Is that how we, is that how we want to go out tonight? Yeah, that's how we want to go out. We want to go out, you know, in a Betsy, you start blaze first. of glory. <laughs> I understand that Brett's going to be the one to lead us off tonight. So what song well, should we I just, sing? You know, I'm trying to think of which songs I know the best. You know, honestly, my what I love... Okay, so... This yeah, actually, I need a pour before oh. we... Okay. What do you want? Do you and want? you have to remember that I'm the pseudo-juice, so I come really from? shouldn't be leading the caroling. I guess I got a pour. Huh? I'm cool. Um, yeah, so, I know. <laughs> so I, I have this this affinity. I love Christmas carols. Mm -hmm. And um, and it's not just the Christmas carols mm -hmm. that, um, you know, not the, the non-secular Christmas carols like Rudolph or, uh, or Frost or whatever. It's mostly the, the secular one, Joy to the World, right. O Come All You Faithful, etc. What's, et what's your favorite um, Christmas uh, special? Christmas Ooh, that's special. A good question. Yeah, off the road, no stranger. Yeah, I want to. I want to know this from the whole a studio. A year without a Santa Claus, because I I have a thing for the heat miser. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a great one. Thing for yeah. the heat miser. Has that been on already? It's on a lot, like two or three times on like the ABC yeah. Family Channel. But last year, the one and only Christmas gift that I got from my children was the the deluxe DVD. Nice, yes. nice. Yeah. Hockley, what's your favorite? What's your favorite? Oh, Grab the mic. Betsy, hand him. We the have a mic now. What's your favorite Christmas? Christmas special? Oh, probably the Charlie Brown one, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. What are we doing? Frosty, Frosty the, the snowman, snowman was, was a jolly, happy soul with a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Everybody, 